Hey, good thing we don't have to play on the course with range balls. So my golf spy has done their annual extensive ball testing, and it can be a real matrix of data and information that's hard to sift through. So right after this, I'm gonna boil their results down for you and hopefully be able to recommend the best golf ball for your game. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Steve with HitItLonger.com. So my golf spy does an extensive ball testing with robots uh, about every two years or so. And it's really extensive, it's very painstaking. They do thousands and thousands of shots, kind of carefully calibrated and scientifically analyzed, do about 40 or 50 different golf balls, and then they share on their website their interpretation and the full database of all of the shots. But this really turns out to be, for the average golfer, a veritable fire hose of information that becomes overwhelming to understand. So I'm gonna, so I did the work for you, I boiled it down, and hopefully I can help recommend the best golf ball for you. Now the past couple versions of this video have been what I would call my top five golf ball list. This year we're going to do it a little bit differently, going to more target the category of golfer to the best ball I think will work for that category. So it's going to be more like five number one golf balls instead of counting down uh, five through one style. All right, so our first category is the budget or the value category. And I'm gonna break this into two award winners. Number one, for the slower swingers. These are golfers out there watching this who maybe hit their best drives around 200 or 210 yards. And that one goes to Kirkland Pro Sig, now version three. I love the $17 price tag. I love the green side and wedge spin that matches up perfectly with your golf game when you're only driving it 200 yards or so off the tee and you're having a hard time reaching holes in regulation, your game and your score is going to come down to that pitch or chip and you're going to have the most bite in the entire game and at your speed you're simply only losing two or three yards uh, off of a Pro V1, so not a big deal. All right, so my award for the top ball in the budget or value category for the swinger above 85 miles an hour is gonna be the Max Fly Tour X. You can still get this ball on sale when you buy multiple quantities. You can get it down to about 30 or $32 a dozen, which is fantastic given that it performs almost exactly like a Pro V1. So if you want a great golf ball without breaking the bank, I would head over to, I believe they're at Dick's Sporting Goods, owns the franchise, and pick up a couple of dozen of MaxFly Tour X. All right, in our next category, we're talking about the best distance ball, and just flat out, no matter what your swing speed is, whether you swing 120 miles an hour, whether you swing 70 miles an hour with your driver, the ball that goes the furthest in every category is the Pro V1 Left Dash. Yes, you're giving up a little bit of green side spin and control playing this golf ball, and you are paying the 50 plus dollar price tag, but you are getting Titleist quality, and you're getting hands down the best distance ball in the game. All right, here's another new award, another new category for the best new golf ball that you probably have never heard of or played with yet. And that is the new PXG Extreme Golf Ball. Now, this one is about $40 a dozen, so you get a little bit of a break over the really high-end brands, but it performs fantastically. Now, we get a little bit more data on dispersion. I'll have more to say about this golf ball. But the distance, the spin, off the irons, off the wedges, off the driver are all pretty comparable to the top selling or the top golf balls that guys on tour are playing. So save a little green and get the same performance. It's a good idea to check out the PXG Extreme and see what you think about it. Now before I go on to the last few categories, I want to make a disclaimer. I make zero dollars and zero cents on any of these recommendations. So before you go down in the comments, which I hope you will, and comment on which ball you're excited to try or maybe which ball you like the best, just keep in mind, don't hit me in the comments that I'm a shill or that I'm shilling for some product. I get paid nothing. All right, moving on, next category, I'd call it the best direct-to-consumer golf ball. So in the last 
several years, we've seen a bunch of new golf balls that have come up that are not sold in golf stores. You're ordering them directly from the company. So you're talking about the, the Snell and golf balls like that. And over the years, the Vice Pro Plus has been a very consistent performer, and that includes this year's testing as well. The distance is right up there at any speed. It's right up there with any of the longest balls in the game, but it also spins just great. And overall, it keeps up quite well with the top Pro V1. Now to get a hold of these golf balls, you just head over to their website, vicegolf.com, and you can order them. And you get a pretty good discount on quantity. So three, four dozen, you can get the price down to about $32 a dozen. So that's quite a nice savings off the now new price tag for the tie-end golf balls of $55 a dozen. It's almost half price. All right, for you softies out there, the guys who like a soft feeling golf ball, you got to remember that softer golf balls that are soft because they have lower compression perform very poorly, both in distance and in spin and in tend to be in dispersion. They tend to be very poor Fly, kind of fly all over the place a little bit compared to the best golf balls. But to get the best of the soft feeling golf ball, if you insist on not playing a firmer golf ball, but you want to get that feel to it, the best bet you can get is the Bridgestone BXS. You're losing a few yards off of the best golf balls, five and then maybe 10 yards at the highest club head speed. But if you want that kind of spin and soft feel and consistent performance, this is the golf ball to go with. All right, now the award for my number one overall best golf ball, the one, this will be the best golf ball for just about anybody out there, no matter what level you're playing at, no matter uh, how far you hit it, no matter what your swing speed, woman, man, doesn't matter. Uh, first, I want to give a, a strong runner up to the Strixon Z-Star Diamond. This is a brand new golf ball this year, and the testing shows that it's super impressive. It goes a long way, just as far as any other golf ball out there, but it actually spins even a little bit more off the wedges, off the pitches, off the chips, off the bunker shots, and it's a little bit lower compression than some of the other golf balls that go the same distance. What a fantastic combination. It seems like maybe they've nailed it. Distance. Lots of spin and control, a little bit softer feel. You'll definitely want to go check that one out. Srixon Z-Star Diamond, runner up for my overall best ball. We will know more about this golf ball when my golf spy puts out more information about dispersion from this year's test or how tight the robot hits those golf balls into makes a big difference to you. You don't want some odd shaped or dimpled golf ball pulling it out and hitting it over the green or having it slice way off to the right and it wasn't you. So consistency and dispersion become bigger and bigger the better you get. So my award for the number one best overall golf ball this year goes to the Titleist Pro V1X. And again, I'm not a shilling for Titleist at all. You watch my older test, you see that I have awarded the number one to different golf balls and different brands nearly every time I've done this. But you get the tightest uh, performance and dispersion that is super tight, the tightest on the market consistently. You get big time distance, only two yards behind the Pro V1 left dash. So it's a super long golf ball, but you get the pro performance out of it. No matter what your speed is, even if you swing 75 miles an hour, this ball is going to go longer for you than just about anything else. And of course, you get the great spin to help those pitches keep from bouncing over the green. So I'm definitely going to pick up some Pro V1 X's this year. I like the yellow ones because I'm getting blind and they're getting hard to see the ball flying out there. But I'm definitely going to try that new Strixon ball, maybe check out the PXG Extreme in the coming year as well and see how I like that. All right, so what is your favorite golf ball and why? Are you still falling under the myth that a golfer must match his compression to his swing speed? Leave it down below in the comments. Let me know what you think about my golf spies robot testing. Maybe you don't like that it's a robot being 
doing the testing. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. Hey, as usual, thanks so much for watching and supporting my channel. I'm Steve. I hope you go check out my website, hititlonger.com, and all the products on the Pro Shop page. Buying one of those will help support what I do, support my channel. Uh, and as usual, I'll either see you in the next video or I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care.